Shalom, holy nation. Welcome back to Righteous Reactions. I am Yah. Yah, what's up, man? So today, as y'all can see by the thumbnail, man, we here. We here with Eshawn Burgundy, bro. He just dropped his album just recently, and I've been super excited. Like I'm talking about super excited to react to this album man i don't know about y'all but it felt like it's been a minute since we heard an album from ishan and i think he dropped his album last uh sometime last year um you know and everything like that but i've been i've been waiting for another project man so you know what i'm saying without any further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into the album Name of the album is called Eyes on the One from Nazareth. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Uh, but I ain't even about we we not gonna we not gonna take none of y'all time, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna go ahead and get right into the reaction, man. He that have an ear. Let him hear. First track, bro, off the album. First track, bro. First track off the album. Why can't I speak English today? First track off the album. I, I shall wear a crown. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. Let's get it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. All praise, honor, and glory be unto the most high. Mm -hmm. Right to be. It's a man, woman, and child. Make sure you keep your eyes on the one. Yeah, it's important that I be specific. The track record of the one from Nazareth is so prolific. We open scripture, see potent depictions, inscriptions of unequivocal wisdom from the one that's risen. I'm talking holes from three nails and abdomen incisions. I'm talking minor details like leaving John in prison while John was being condescending in this drama pending. It's always crazy when family become the opposition. I'm talking staying in Jerusalem four days. Why they look for you in every cardinal direction? That mean four ways. Found you in the temple, they say they've been stressing. Four days, and at 12 years of age, you ask why you ain't checked here in the first place. No disrespect, I know you're supposed to be upset. It's just that the Passover wasn't over for me yet. The ones. Okay. That's hard. This is, this is hard right here. This is hard right here. He's spitting. Let's get these lyrics, man. We gotta get to these lyrics. It's a man, woman, and child. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep your eyes on the one. Yeah. It's important that I be specific. The track record of the one from Nazareth is so prolific. We open scripture, see potent depictions, inscriptions of unequivocal wisdom from the one that's risen. I'm talking holes from three nails and abdomen incisions. I'm talking minor details like leaving John in prison while John was being condescending in this drama pending. It's always crazy when family become the opposition. I'm talking staying in Jerusalem four days. Why they look for you in every cardinal direction? That means four ways. Found you in the temple, they say they've been stressing. Four days, and at 12 years of age, you ask why you ain't checked here in the first place. No disrespect, I know you're supposed to be upset. It's just that the Passover wasn't over for me yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Spirit going dive on. In the shape of a dove, I'm who the nation's gonna rely on. Who the local officials gonna spy on and lie on. Genesis said that I would crush the head of the python. Shook up the world before Cassius became my Ali, convicting the masses of their sin and if I leave, that's me. No magic. I'm not bar Jesus like Acts 30. That's hard. Man, he's got some lines in here, bro. He got a lot of lines in here, bro. All right, bro, I got you keep your eyes on the one. Okay. Yeah. It's important that I be specific. The track record of the one from Nazareth is so prolific. We open scripture, see potent depictions, inscriptions of unequivocal wisdom from the one that's risen. I'm talking holes from three nails and abdomen. When he said, uh, open up the scriptures, I see, I see, uh, potent depictions, right? Like, it's crazy because when you truly understand what's going on in the scriptures, and you open up the book, you see it so so differently. It's it's it has such a different lens to the scriptures. And then on top of that, how he's talking about the potent depictions, like when you know what he looked like, 
you know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures, right? Which is also cause could be considered the potent depiction that he's speaking of. You know what I'm saying? When you when you know that he's a, a, a dark skinned man from the tribe of Judah, right? And then you go and you read these scriptures with the mindset of this is a a dark skinned man talking to other dark skinned uh, black and brown men, you know what I mean, having these conversations and build Bro, it's a completely different depiction, right, of what we were taught. You know what I'm saying? When you hear about the way that he, uh, when he was acting, the, how stern he was, how uh, serious he took a lot of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it it paints a whole nother image, a whole nother picture. When you got that right doctrine, right? You know what I'm saying? When you got the right understanding, it paints a whole nother depiction of what the scriptures mean how much value that it has in them bro so he's definitely spitting and then he said um he said uh unequivocal wisdom i think he said hold up wholesome three nails and abdomen from the one that's risen i'm talking wholesome three nails and abdomen is okay hello Unequivocal wisdom from okay, the that's what he said. Oh, uh, so he said unequivocal wisdom from the one that's risen, right? Because when you start reading the Bible, man, when you start getting into them scriptures and you see the way that Messiah moved, it wasn't off. It wasn't off of emotion. It wasn't off of of thought or anything like that. He moves like a man that has wisdom in this life. So when you see how Christ reacted, how he treated people, how he, you know. Uh, conversated with people it, he was he was moving with a whole lot of uh, wisdom you know what i'm saying and if we could replicate what christ did right we too would be walking with this same wisdom that's what he was trying to tell us when he was here on earth you know what i mean but it just shows you like when you read in the scriptures you could tell that even though sometimes we don't think that some things are the right move the most high understood, I mean, uh, Christ understood that through the most high spirit, that everything that he did was going to be the right move if he just followed the spirit, if he just followed, you know what I mean, the scriptures, right? You hear him a lot of times going and referring back to what the scriptures say. Don't you remember the scripture said this in this chapter, this verse, right? So he had that wisdom of, of you know, what he's supposed to do because all of that stuff is pertains to everything that was already written down for us to live a life full of wisdom so he was just applying it and now he's saying hey you can apply it too but you have to walk like i walk so man he's saying a lot of stuff already see potent depictions inscriptions of unequivocal wisdom from the one that's risen i'm talking yeah. holes from three nails and abdomen decisions mm -hmm. i'm talking minor details like leaving john in prison mm -hmm. while john was being condescending in this drama pending mm -hmm. it's always crazy when family become the opposition i'm talking yeah. staying in jerusalem for it's crazy because he said it's always crazy when your family become the opposition because when you come into this walk, bro, a lot of your family becomes an uh, enemy to you. And it's not not even, well, some, for some, it is like, like seriously, you become your enemy. But because they don't understand the way that you walk through the scriptures, right? They already chunking up the the the, the deuces to you. At, you know, like, hey, I, I don't really want to be a part of what you got going on because I don't understand it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to say that you wicked and you doing this and you doing that, or you don't know the Bible. And you know what I mean? Especially for the older ones that f maybe even had some experience dealing with Christianity or dealing with the Bible. They just chunk it up and make it seem like you, you, uh, a wicked being because you aren't studying or, and doing the things that they did. Uh, and they walk right. And they see that a lot of the things that you say in the Bible contradict they lifestyle. So they don't, they don't, they can't rock with you like that. So yeah, it's, yeah, that's a fact, man. They become your enemy. And the scriptures talk about that too. Uh, I think it's in, I think it's in Malachi, uh, where it says that, uh, that your enemies is going to be 
be the ones from your own household. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's a that's just it's it's all written, bro. It's crazy. Crazy with family become the opposition. I'm talking mm -hmm. staying in Jerusalem four days. Mm -hmm. Why they look for you in every cardinal direction? That means four ways. Found you in the temple. They say they've been stressing four, four days. days. And at 12 years of age, you ask why you ain't checked here in the first place. I like how he did that. He said, looking in every, he said, uh, there was in, uh, in Jerusalem looking for you, uh, looking for you four days, right? Saying four days, but they're also saying you were there for, for three days, right? Came back, right? After three days. Right, the fourth day. So they were looking for you for a day. They were looking for you for a minute, right? But also looking for you for days. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then he said, looking in every cardinal direction for him. That's four ways, right? Yeah, that's hard. Four days and at 12 years of age, you ask why you ain't checked here in the first place. No disrespect, I know you're supposed to be upset. It's just that the Passover wasn't over, over for me yet. yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Wait Spirit going dive on. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's doing, well, hello, let me see something real quick. Respect, I know you're supposed to be upset. It's just that the Passover wasn't over for me. No, 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 hold up. Why they look for you in every cardinal no, no, direction? direction? That means four ways. Found you in the temple. They say they've been stressing four, four days. days. And at 12 years of age, you ask why you ain't checked here in the first place. No, I don't think that. Okay, I might just look. I might just be reaching, bro. I might I might just be reaching, bro. But the fact that he said four three times, and four times three is 12, and then he brought back up the fact that he was 12. I don't like, I might be reaching, bro. I really might be reaching with this one. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I don't know why that stood out to me. Found you in the temple. They say they've been stressing four days. And that's what three times. Family become the opposition. I'm talking staying in Jerusalem four days. Mm -hmm. Why they look for you in every cardinal direction? That means four ways. Found you in the temple. They say they've been stressing four, four days. days. And at 12 years of age, you ask why you ain't checked here in the first place. No disrespect. I know you're supposed to be upset. It's just that the Passover wasn't over for me yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Spirit going dive on. In the shape of a dove, I'm who the nations going to rely on. That was hard. That's hard. That's hard. He said the one standing in the pond, because obviously it was talking about how Christ uh, was standing on the waters, right? The Passover wasn't over for me yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Spirit going dive on. In the shape of a dove, I'm who the nations going to rely on. So he said standing in the, in the pond, the Holy Spirit going to dive on, right? Because obviously you dive into the water. But he's saying it's gonna die. That's hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. To be upset, it's just that the Passover wasn't over for me yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Spirit going dive on. In the shape of a dove, I'm who the nations won't rely on. Who the local officials gonna spy. That also could be uh, a reference to, right? This also could be a reference to, remember, so when Christ was, uh, was standing on the water, uh, Peter had an opportunity to also stand on that water and he had put his faith in Christ, right? So he said the one standing in the pond, right? You know what I'm saying? Let's say that that's uh, resembling how Peter put faith in, in Messiah, right? And the Holy Spirit going to dive on you if you put your faith in Messiah. So that's hard too. Like, you know what I mean? That could be a, that could be a double right there. That's hard. Yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Spirit going dive on in the shape of a dove. I'm who the nations won't rely on. I'm actually, it's a triple entendre, bro. It's really, it's really a triple entendre because when you think about it, if you're standing on the, the pond, the pond is what water, right? When you're standing on the water, the water is the word. So if you're standing on the word, the Holy Spirit go, bro. That's hard, bro. Triple, bro. The triple entendre, crazy. That's why you ain't checked here in the first place. No disrespect, I know you're supposed to be upset. It's just that the Passover wasn't over for me yet. The one standing in the pond, the Holy Spirit going dive on. In the shape of a dove, I'm who the nations gonna rely on. Who the local officials gonna spy on and lie on. Genesis said that I would crush the head of the python. Shook up the world before Cassius became my lead. Convicting the masses of their sin and if I leave, that's me. No match. Yeah, that was hard. 
Yeah, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all, bro, he is, bro, he is spitting. This is a long reaction, y'all. I'm just, just be honest. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I, yeah, this is gonna be a long reaction, man. I'm sorry. I apologize. Over oh, Dove, I'm who the nations gonna rely on. Who the local officials gonna spy on and lie on. Genesis said that I would crush the head of the python. Shook up the world before Cassius became my lead, convicting Shook up the world before Cassius became Ali, right? The masses of that sin and their folly. That's convicting the masses of that sin and folly. But he's saying Cassius Ali folly. That's hard. That's hard. Spy on and lie on. Genesis said that I would crush the head of the python. Shook up the world before Cassius became my lead, convicting the masses of their sin and their folly. That's me. No magic. I'm not by Jesus like Acts 13. I'm Yahushua from Nazareth. I heal the sick and dodge the fame. My disciples love me. I serve people. It's not in vain. I know this life is ugly. I'm going to bring beauty out of this pain. I calm storms. I feed people. I lead people. To the feet of the true and living Elohim, I teach people, I meet people, kindly greet people, but I rebuke evil. Zacchaeus in that same tree I'ma hang from. Hey, beloved, I see you, but it's not my time yet. Just like I told my brothers, I'ma stay in Galilee and let them go together. All right, let me run that back because I know you done said a lot of bars in there. My disciples love me. I serve people. It's not in vain. I know this life is ugly. I'ma bring beauty out of this pain. I calm storms. I feed people. I lead people to the feet of the true and living Elohim. I teach people. I That's so hard, bro. He said, because even though like a lot of these things are like metaphors, right? But they also are literal, right? I calm the storm. He literally, Christ literally done that. I teach people, I feed people. He literally did that, right? That's hard. But at the same time, like metaphorically, right? He calmed the storm. People always say, you know what I mean? Oh, it's the calm before the storm, you know? And then, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I, li I like how he's... I'm Yahushua from Nazareth. I heal the sick and dodge the fame. Sick. My disciples love me. I serve people. It's, it's not in vain. Pain. I know this life is ugly. I'm going to bring beauty out of that this pain. pain. I calm storms. I feed people. I lead people to the feet of the true and living Elohim. I teach people. I meet people. Kindly greet people, but I rebuke evil. Zacchaeus in that same tree I'm going to hang from. Hey, beloved, I see you. But it's not my time yet, just like I told my brothers. I'm going to stay in Galilee and let them go together. Then I'm going to change my mind and go solo and travel later. The Jews are out for blood. They want mine. They got to be patient. But I ain't scared. I'm going to see them. I know they traitors. No heart circumcision. They love tradition and status. Trying to break the seventh commandment on me. Who is they playing with? While I'm there, I'm going to teach in the temple and light a flame in it. The one from Nazareth. Luke 18, 37, Acts 22, 8. I'm known for making great first impressions. I'm the word. And where it is, I'm synonymous with a weapon That's not in the first letter to prevent But it is in the second I came for Israel when I was there to redeem my brethren So they could bring salvation to the nations through repentance When I left, I left my spirit to give you conviction and blessing So you holy and connected While you out preaching my message to every nation Yeah This is hard I'm coming back though And when I return I Hey man, this is a good this is a good starter track, bro. It's a good starter track. I ain't gonna lie, I'm I'm, I'm fully invested, bro. I'm fully invested. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, I cannot speak English today. It is what it is. All right, man. Word from the wise. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. You already know he didn't have an ear. Let him hear. Let's get it. Then Yahusha went back to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. And the news about him spread through the entire region. And he began teaching in their synagogues and was praised and glorified and honored by all. So he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as was his custom, he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written. The spirit of Yah is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to announce forgiveness to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed, downtrodden, bruised, crushed by tragedy, 
to proclaim the favorable year of Yah, the day when salvation and the favor of Yah abound greatly. Then he rolled up the scroll, having stopped in the middle of the verse, gave it back to the attendant and sat down to teach. And the eyes of all those in his synagogue were attentively fixed on him. He began speaking to them. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing and in your presence. And as he continued on, they were speaking well of him and were in awe and were wondering about the words of grace which were coming from his lips. And they were saying, is this not Joseph's son? So he said to them, you will no doubt quote this proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. Whatever miracles that we heard were done by you in Capernaum, do here in your hometown as well. Then he said, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, no prophet is welcome in his hometown. I was just but saying, in truth, I say to you. I was just showing my cousin this exact verse, bro. That's crazy. Um, Like literally yesterday. Um, But if you guys haven't, um tapped into his his just his youtube channel in general he got a lot of um videos and stuff like that where he reads scripture um he has like some some he have like uh long videos where he uh reads uh, just a bunch of scriptures and stuff like that with music in the background and everything like that so if y'all haven't tapped into him um uh, definitely tap into him um he got some like nighttime playlists and stuff like that um i'll be letting my kids sometimes i put it put it on for my kids at night to let them like get them scriptures while they sleeping and stuff like that but it's a really it's a really good you know what i'm saying it's a really good thing he got going on up on the channel so if y'all haven't checked that out because it's definitely it's it's solid no prophet is welcome in his hometown but in truth, I say to you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed up for three years and six months, when a great famine came over all the land. And yet Elijah was not sent by Yah to a single one of them, but only to Zarephath in the land of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and not one of them was cleansed by being healed, except Naaman, the Syrian. As they heard these things about Yah's grace on these two Gentiles, the people in the synagogue were filled with great rage, and they got up and drove him out of the city and led him to the crest of the hill on which their city had been built in order to hurl him down the cliff. But passing miraculously through the crowd, he went on his way. They trying to persecute my man, bro. Crazy. They wanted that man gone for real. I also like how I also like how that first verse, how that first song tied in perfectly with the story, because how he was saying in the first, I said the first verse, but the first song, um, the first song he was saying like. They wanted they wanted me dead, but it wasn't time. So they had to be patient for my death, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like all of these situations that happened where they tried to they tried to uh kill him sooner. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that, but it wasn't gonna happen that way. So yeah, that's all right. I like how it ties in with that. All right, man, we got it. place. Father of the bride. Let's go ahead and check it out. And I, like my brethren, have followed your mission with great interest. We have heard good things, but what you have done here today both shocks and surprises us. Do you wish to destroy the sacred temple? Searching for inner peace. But ain't no peace of mind inside of a den of thieves. All right, let's run that back. This holy place. And I, like my brethren, have followed your mission with great interest. We have heard good things, but what you have done here today both shocks and surprises us. Do you wish to destroy the sacred temple? Searching for inner peace. But ain't no peace of mind inside of a den of thieves. Okay. Turn it back into a house of prayer, prepare a feast. Mm -hmm. I quietly refined and trained up my inner beast to submit to me. And I submit to Elohim that make me feel complete. 
When my flesh feel defeated, put my soul at ease. His word is a guarantee to obedient children. And it's a consequence to a conscience steeped in rebellion. They refuse the shelter of the land's pavilion. Made us think instead of our neighbors, we should be reaching millions. I love These how he said that. I love how he said um, the word is, is, uh, how do he say that? Hold on, let me run that back. Me feel complete. When my flesh feel defeated, put my soul at ease. His word is a guarantee to obedient children. His word is a guarantee to obedient children, right? And it's a consequence to a conscience steeped in rebellion. And it's a consequence to a conscience that's deep, deep in rebellion, right? So in other words, he's saying, uh, just like the scriptures say, either you can do these commandments and get life, or you can avoid these commandments and get death, right? All of these curses and stuff like that started happening to us because we denied the book. We we what we didn't want to keep what was written. But the when you keep what is written, everything changes. Your spirit changes. The way that you act changes. The way that you look changes. The way that you uh, treat one another. You know what I'm saying? The way that you look at life, everything changes. And everything you can build up your spirit, just like how you were saying. You know what I'm saying? You got the 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 beast. You know what I'm saying? Trying to try to pretty much take away your soul, but you can make the beast obedient to you by getting in the book, right? It calmed his spirit down. It got it got him in the right state of mind. But what happens is when we neglect ourselves from when we don't read, it's going to be the complete opposite, right? And the beast gets stronger, and you know what I mean? And starts and starts. Dwindling and, 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 and killing your spirit off, bro. You can only you can't play both sides, bro. You gotta choose a side and stick with it. You know what I mean? And stay consistent with it. They refused the shelter of the land's pavilion. Made us think instead of our neighbors, we should be reaching millions. These are unattainable goals for most of y'all's children. No more carved out living. They rather invested in the building. They remain confused and pews paying weekly dues to a man that says that he can do what they can't do until he get caught in the scandal and that lampstand get removed and a father gotta go and blow out that candle mm. this used to be a house of prayer this where my people came to seek my face when it became about that green paper i had them flip the tables this a disgrace now that my temples and my people's hearts i can bring them to a deeper faith and with me, my children are safe. This really is yeah. amazing grace. What's the reason that we really here? Are we confident as a lion or are we full of fear? Mm. Is the father's children defying or are I'm we? Sorry, I'm sorry I keep on pausing it, but it's like some things you got to touch on. I like how he goes back to the Den of Thieves line, uh, right? Because Christ had to go flip over the table because people was greedy and up in the temple for money. And we see, we see a similar spirit within the, the Christian church, right? Where they, a lot of things is, is, is centered around financial, financial gain, uh, financial prosperity, um, you know what I mean? Uh, tithing and things like that. And putting your faith in the dollar bill rather than putting your faith in the Messiah, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, financial blessings, whatever. All of these things that it's like they they focus on, right? But it's like, okay, why why aren't you focused on these these commandments? Why aren't we being even taught any of the commandments? You know what I'm saying? Why aren't we having conversations about what's in the book? Even though I like it's it's really just faith and money. You know what I mean? Faith and money and then grace when you slip. But a lot of times we don't even know what we're slipping on because we don't have understanding of the commandments. So it is going right back to that den of thieves that Christ had to flip the table over because all y'all worried about is the financial gain. So I had a, I had a thing. And with me, my children are safe. This really is amazing grace. What's the reason that we really here? 
Mm. Are we confident as a lion or are we full of fear? Is the father's children defying or are we meek and humble? Mm. Do we live righteously or behave like we live in the jungle? Are we the real aliens? Unidentified, extraterrestrial from genocide to now gentrified. Mm. It's the peace that surpasses all understanding practice. But when the son of man comes in power to rule the masses, is it right that Bible colleges charge for classes? Or is that just another clever way of controlling the masses, huh? Where's the apocrypha? Oh yeah, there's the religious mafia who police the less popular. Reprimand Messiah for not feeding people tilapia. Religious tyrannical leadership don't like when people draw their own conclusions after reading the script. They would rather be true precept verses and chapters that supports the understanding that they gathered. Mass producing a mass delusion. Add some truth, then call it a movement, then add confusion. They hated the shepherd's blueprint because he was a nuisance. About a dollar, so they rejected each of his two cents. It's foolish, don't move an inch. Wolves springing on sheep with their head down. Religious nonprofit entity registered with the Fed now. Was your allegiance? Cause your treason got me feeling let down. You just arrived at the end of your season. Get back that bread now. See, it goes right back to what he was saying earlier. Because what is always being taught? Oh, it's gonna be your season. It's gonna be your season, right? But every time all of us, every time it's your season, you still gotta, you still giving up that bread. Your season coming, right? It's so crazy, but man, he said a lot up in there. He said a lot in this. He said, hold on, I got to run that back. To rule the masses. Is it right that Bible college is charged for class? Is the father's children defying or are we meek and humble? Do we live righteously or behave like we live in the jungle? Are we the real aliens? Unidentified, extraterrestrial from genocide to now gentrified. I like how he said that. He said, are we the real aliens? Unidentified. Obviously, uh, we don't, we don't, <laughs> we not identify. We don't identify as Israelites. We don't identify as the, the true people of the, you know, of the book, right? We don't identify. We, even though they gave us an identity, if we strip that identity that they gave us away, what do you identify with? That's why he said, are we the true aliens unidentified? And the scriptures talk about us, you know what I mean, uh, being aliens, right? Um, from a commonwealth of Israel, right? So going back into that, and then he said, uh, genocide to gentrify. The real aliens unidentified, extraterrestrial so from genocide to now gentrified. It's the peace that surpasses all understanding practice. But when the son of man comes in power to rule the masses, mm. is it right that Bible college is charged for classes? Or mm. is that just another clever way of controlling the, the masses? masses? Huh? Where's the apocrypha? You hear what he's saying? He said, is it crazy that you pretty much, they're charging you to learn what they want you to teach, right? Why can't you just learn the book to teach it. You know what I'm saying? Is that another clever way to control the masses? Because you putting this money in here thinking that these people about to teach you the right way to break down the book, the right way to 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 uh teach the book, right? So you paying this extra money because you like, oh, they got the understanding. But whole time they're using they they taking your money and then they're not teaching you how the book is even they're not teaching you anything that's in the book. They teaching you their doctrine, right? So yeah, that's hard. He just spent some facts in here. Of a clever way of controlling the masses, huh? Where's the apocrypha? Oh yeah, there's the religious mafia who mm. police the less popular. Reprimand Messiah for not feeding people to lobby. Religious tyrannical leadership don't like when people draw their own conclusions after reading the script. They would rather mm. be you. And then you, th oh man. And then it's crazy because he the the words that he choosing to say the tyrannical leadership right meaning oh uh, if if it ain't if you're not teaching it this way then we ain't trying to hear it they gonna feed you the precepts that they want you to hear right 
And if you don't have an understanding based off of the precepts that they want you to hear, then now, now you the you the evil one, right? They don't want you to form your own opinion by you reading the script. If you don't got their opinion of what they've been taught about reading the script, then you're wrong and they don't want no parts of you. Come on, bro. That's the truth, bro. Yeah. Don't like when people draw their own conclusions yeah. after reading the script. They would rather feed you precept verses and chapters that supports the understanding that they gathered. Yeah. Mass producing a mass delusion. Add some truth, then call it a movement, then add confusion. They hated the shepherd's blueprint because he was a nuisance. About a dollar, so they rejected each of his two cents. It's foolish. Don't now, you hear what he's saying, though. He said... What what happened with the scribes and the Pharisees? What they were teaching, if no, if you didn't teach what they were teaching, guess what you guess what? You can exiled out of the whole situation. You you know what I mean? You teach a heresy now, right? They didn't like what Messiah was bringing to the table and trying to teach. And now we're in these the same position, these Israelites that everybody don't like. We in the same position. We're going out and we're giving out the word. Nobody want to accept it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to accept it. We just getting pushed off like we're all in the wrong, right? We getting, look, look at how the media treats us, bro. They treat us like we did. Like, and then this is another thing, right? You hear in the media, oh, we're a hate group. Oh, we, we, uh, we, we do all these bad things. Where is the proof, bro? Where is the proof? Because guess what they did? They accused Christ too. They accused the disciples too. Y'all don't see the correlation in the scriptures and what we're doing and what and why we showing that this is more evidence that we're speaking the truth because guess what? They're treating us the same way that they treated the Israelites. Then they're treating the Israelites right now in your face. But because you've been taught this, this doctrine, you've been taught all of this mass delusion that he's speaking of. You don't look at it from that perspective. You look at it as we, the outcast with the Israel. Right? And that's the thing. That's what the scriptures say we was gonna be. So who's so who's right? Don't the scriptures say that it's gonna be an antichrist and many people was gonna believe on the antichrist, but it was only gonna be a few people that believed in Christ? Ain't that what the scriptures say? But all of these people, they don't even see this is the thing, they don't even believe in the book all the same. And they will still all come together to go against Israel, the Israelites. Y'all don't see that as a odd thing? You know what I mean? Y'all don't see that? So they'll all come together to take us down, right? But all we're trying to do is show them the Bible. Okay. All right. <laughs> so they rejected each of his two cents. It's foolish. Don't move an inch. Wool springing on sheet with their head down. Religious nonprofit entity registered with the Fed now. Was your allegiance because your treason got me feeling let down. You just arrived at the end of your season. Get back that bread now. This used to be a house of prayer. This where my people came to seek my face. When it became about that green paper. I had them flip the tables, this a disgrace. Now that my temples and my people's hearts, I can bring them to a deeper faith. And with me, my children are safe. This really is amazing grace. Yeah, this is hard right here. I ain't even gonna lie. Hallelujah. All right, man. Next track, we got the soul of black folks. This is see some tough uh titles, by the way. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. He to have an ear. Let him hear. Let's go. That's how we live, man. That's how we live, man. Yeah. The Messiah was born in Bethlehem. But he was raised in Nazareth. 
I was born in Abington, but I was raised in Philadelphia, South Philadelphia, Pass on Projects, yeah, yeah. The soul of black folks Revelation for our nation like the island of Patmos In these last days, I'm one of the Jews dwelling in Patros I came up, my chain tuck, my hoodie on and my hat low You see, you wouldn't believe how many dealers was in my chateau I used to ride the right side through the slums with the strap close Used to remove the duffel bags from the trunk Yeah, I was that close North American Hebrews got their backs cracked with lassos Turn keys of coke from Pablo into crack capsules Now behind seatbelts and black Camaros Idolizing Pharaoh Feeding each other barrel shells Jumping out the sunroof with a pistol It's no love from death when it kiss you Lifted our sneakers out of the street Cause we blessed individuals Show mercy by the most high Thirsty drinking water that came down Out of a dome sky Chapter 6, verse 38 Placed in the book of John We need faith in these crooked times Starting to ache in your temple And you still cooking swine Been with my bride almost a dove She still find his wine That wine came from water That water was once alive It's still alive Cause his Holy Spirit ain't never Die. Don't let them fool you cause they'll do it to you every time Feel like the whole purpose of the media is to undermine Take away the feeling of safety right in front of our eyes Erase our faith in what's been promised us a hundred times We love the righteous ones, don't let them tell you different Dumb down the Man, he is spitting bro up in these, these tracks man He got so many lines in this And it's, it's, like it's not even, and it's crazy because it's not even like Bar heavy, it's just truth heavy, bro. Like it just got a lot of truth in it. You feel me? In the Patmos, in these last days, I'm one of the Jews dwelling in Patros. I came up, my chain tuck, my hoodie on, and my hat low. You see, you wouldn't believe how many demons was in my chateau. I used to ride the right side through the slums with the strap close. Used to remove the duffel bags from the trunk. Yeah, I was that close. North American Hebrews got their backs cracked with lassos. Turn keys of coke from Pablo into crack capsules. Now behind seatbelts and black Camaros, idolizing Pharaoh. Feeding each other barrel shells, jumping out the sunroof with a pistol. It's no love from death when it kiss you. Lifted our sneakers out of the street cause we blessed individuals. Shown mercy by the most high. Thirsty drinking water that came down out of a dome sky. Chapter 6. Verse 38, placed in the book of John, we need faith in these crooked times. Starting to ache in your temple, and you still cooking swine? Been with my bride almost a dub, she still find his wine. That wine came from water, that water was once alive. It's still alive, cause his Holy Spirit ain't never died. Uh, that's hard, bro. That wine came from, <laughs> I like I like how he said, but with a dub, she still find his wine, right? And that wine came from water, right? The more uh Christ turned that water into wine, right? But he said that water is living and never dies, right? So if you drink from the, the the living water, right? Come on, bro. Hey, he's been. I like this. Cooking swine, been with my bride almost a dub. And he also still said, Y'all still cooking swine? Y'all still out here eating that that unclean food? You know what I'm saying? Look. Put it down. And you still cooking swine? Been with my bride almost a dub. She still find his wine. That wine came from water. That water was once alive. It's still alive because his Holy Spirit ain't never died. Don't let them fool you because they'll do it to you every time. Feel like the whole purpose of the media is to undermine. Take away the feeling of safety right in front of our eyes. Erase our faith in what's been promised us a hundred times. We love the righteous ones. Don't let them it's tell you. It's crazy because that's a fact. They definitely promised us a hundred times times after a hundred times the same things and we continue to believe them right he said he feel like the media is trying to undermine us is trying to set us up to make us afraid of them you know what i'm saying where they especially with uh, the whole the killing of of, of of blacks right and they push that in the media and the algorithm so heavy right to where it started instilling fear in a lot of our people and being afraid, right? And that's a that's a key tactic that they use to try to keep our people docile. You feel me? Yeah, he's the righteous ones. Don't let them tell you different. Dumb down the spirit's conviction and called it intuition. You know what you know. Confusion is the new addiction. One swipe can change your life. I mean, really, what's the true intention? Uh. Taught to hate the truth when it's the lie that has been weaponized. Don't be mesmerized by the anti-god who is next to rise. The revolution. Mm, hold up, hold up. 
Paris conviction and called it intuition. You know what you know, confusion is the new addiction. One swipe can change your life. I mean, really, what's the true intention? He said. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Hold up. It's a hundred times. He let the righteous ones. Don't let them tell you different. Dumb down the spirit's conviction and called it intuition. You know what you know. Confusion is the new addiction. Dumb down the spirits and uh dumb down the spirit's conviction and called it intuition. Bro, come on. That's so hard. That's so hard because that's it's crazy because it's like, like everything. That spirit led, if we understood it was spirit led, we would understand that the way that the way that the spirit move, there are a lot of people say the oh, it's the universe. No, it's the way that the spirit move, bro. And if you just understood the spirit, a lot of this stuff you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it's intuition. You wouldn't believe it's karma. You wouldn't believe, you know what I'm saying, these things happen because you will understand based off of your spirit when you get your spirit right that this is how the spiritual reacts and 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 acts, bro. Yeah, man. He look definitely, definitely they dumb that dumb down the spirit's conviction for sure. Called it intuition. That's all right. Dumb down the spirit's conviction and called it intuition. You know what you know. Confusion is the new addiction. One swipe can change your life. I mean, really, what's the true intention? He said, you know what you know. Uh, you know what you know, and then I think he said, um, uh, what did he say? Hold up, how do you say that? Swipe can change your life. I mean, really, what's the true intent? Called it intuition. You know what you know. Confusion is the new addiction. Oh, you know what you know. Confusion is the new addiction, right? You swipe your screen so so much it, it can confuse you on what you actually know, bro. It's so crazy because. They put in so much information out all at once that you would see the truth clear as day and you avoid it because you want to you want to learn more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you see in the scripture, it literally says Christ had skin like brass burnt in the furnace. You will read that and then you will go up on social media and he say he's Middle Eastern. Oh, he looks more like the Arab person. But didn't you just read his description in his book, right? But the media saying something else, right? Then you go up on Google and you type in Christ. You type in the Messiah. You type in Jesus, and it's going to be a white person popping up, right? So guess what? You you look into, into it too much, and you're going to be deceived. But they making the deception seem like it's the real thing and it's confusing a lot of people from what's actually evident that you can see clear as day. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. Dumb down the spirit's conviction and called it intuition. You know what you know. Confusion is the new addiction. One swipe can change your life. I mean, really, what's the true intention? Taught to hate the truth when it's the lie that has been weaponized. Don't be mesmerized by the anti God who is next. Taught to hate the truth when really the lie is what's been weaponized. Come on, bro. Facts. Taught to hate the truth when it's the lie that has been weaponized. Don't be mesmerized by the anti God who is next to rise. The revolution. And will I be love how he said that too because you, you, when you start hearing about this truth, they try to make it seem like we're going to weaponize this truth to cause all this chaos and stuff in the world. Whole time, the lies that they've been telling is what's been weaponizing us for for. Hundreds of years, bro. Thousands of years, bro. So it's like they telling us you they tell you you need to not listen to these people. You need to not, you know what I'm saying, consume they uh, they they message or whatever the case may be. Whole time. They got a secret agenda with these lies that they cooking up that they about to put into your head, make you deny the ones that came through the most high so they can get you to serve whoever they want you to serve. You don't, you don't find it funny that everybody that don't serve Christ wants you to do the same things that they're doing in the name of Christ. You don't find that kind of odd at all. 
the lie that has been weaponized. Don't be mesmerized by the anti-god who is next to rise. The revolution will be televised because it's Hellenized. The real revolution after that is what they don't advertise. Return of the Lion of Judah, witnessed by every eye to separate the lamb from the ghost. But that's classified. Devil got tactics. He learned to strategize. The actress, but that lion gonna eat him alive. Thanks. Fire album so far, fire album so far. What y'all say? All right, man. Uh, we got Silence the Land, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. You need to have an ear. Let him hear. Let's go. Yeah, they said I'm pro hypertension because of my pigment. It's excess stress in my veins due to my lineage. To them it's real, but in my imagination it's just a figment. That blood on me, ain't no curse on me, that's illegitimate. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made to escape scarcity. My bread come from heaven, it's sweet and it's unleavened. I like that, I like that, because he said, ain't ain't no curse on me, that blood on me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing, when you start walking in the faith, when you start walking and, and letting, you know, Messiah be... Uh, when you start letting Messiah be, uh, your your mediator, right? Them curses start start getting broken off. You know what I mean? Because guess what? He said that you will be under the curse if you don't keep the commandments. But when you start keeping the commandment commandments and faith in the Messiah, guess what? Them curses. You know what I mean? Them curses isn't as valid no more. Curse on me, that's illegitimate. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made to escape scarcity. My bread come from heaven, it's sweet and it's unleavened. And it's fish feed 5,000 with the Messiah's blessing. Woolly hair, black sheep at his feet when I'm in his presence. I never let a cross lay on my chest, hang from my necklace. Thankful for the death, but the life is what I'm obsessed with. The lamb's gonna reflect it, the goat's gonna disrespect it. They want our hope deferred and all our children infected. Yeah, Babylonian, draconian is the method. They heat the fire up seven times, try to change our mind. Like Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Never take a knee for a false messiah, even in fire. With all the power yeah, they got. Look, that's hard. Because I like how he put that out there, because why were they... A lot of people don't understand why they were um, put in the furnace in the first place, right? And they didn't... They wasn't about to bow down and serve another god. That's why they got put in the fire in the first place. So he said, I'm not about to bow down for, for no uh, for no false messiah, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. Hold up. It's on 11 and it's fish feet 5,000 with the messiah's blessing. Woolly hair, black sheep at his feet when I'm in his presence. I never let a cross lay on my chest, hang from my necklace. Thankful for the death, but the life is what I'm obsessed with. It's... Um, that's so hard. Um, but he said, never let a cross uh up on my chest or hang from my necklace because if you know, you know, bro, that 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 cross is a, a symbol of idolatry, right? That cross is a symbol of uh of of pagan worship. You know what I'm saying? If you just do some a little bit of research, you'll find out that that pretty pretty much T that's up on a lot of y'all chest isn't um, a symbol of Christ, but it's a symbol of Tammuz. So yeah, man, just I mean, just do do some research and look into it. But um, he also said, "I'm thankful for the death, but the life is what I'm obsessed with." Right? Because yeah, Christ did die, but the life that he gave us that's what that's what we should be focused on. Chest hang from my necklace. Thankful for the yeah. death, but the yeah. life is what I'm obsessed with. The lamb's gonna reflect it, the goat's gonna disrespect it. They want our hope deferred and all our children infected. Yeah, Babylonian, draconian is the method. 
They heat the fire up seven times. Try to change our mind. Like Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Now I like how he said that too. He said they heat the fire up seven times to try to change our mind. Oh, oh okay. Let me just turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, you sure you wanna, you know what I'm saying? You sure you wanna continue trying to be faithful? Right? Take a knee for a false messiah, even in fire. With all the power they got, fronted from governments, all of their subtle lies, all the fake compliments. I'm refusing all of their bribes, every dime of their advance. They want us to be quiet, but they'll never, ever, ever silence the lambs. Never silence the lambs. It's a fact right there. Never silence the lambs. Never silence the lambs. You can't silence these lambs. Every morning we dance to the shepherd's voice and whole hands, singing praise to the great I am. What a man thinks about is who he really is. That makes you contemplate whether or not you really is. Not the repentance and for submission you really live. Only after knowing what you have can you truly give. It's life and death in the tongue's power. It's gunpowder. Dark in the final hour. The earth need a sun shower. Messiah coming on a stallion with the first battalion. Strong and valiant, bloody vessel, white horsepower. Keeping my mind. He going crazy. He going crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. man. Sing yeah. praise. Praise to the great yeah. I am. What a man thinks about is who he really yeah, is. Facts. That makes you contemplate whether or not you really, really is. Ooh, after repentance and for submission, you really live. Mm. Only after knowing what you have can you truly give. Yeah. It's life and death in the tongue's power. It's gunpowder. Dark in the final hour of the earth, need a sun shower. Messiah coming on a stallion. Dark in the final hour of the earth, need a sun shower. It's darkness. But he's saying the earth need a sun shower, meaning they need, it need Messiah. It's hard. Dark in the final hour of the earth, need, need a, a sun, sun shower. shower. Messiah coming on a stallion with the, the first sun. battalion. Strong and valiant, bloody vegetable, white horsepower. Keeping my mind on holy things is like Novocaine. No time to be rehearsing my shame. I already know the pain. I'm healing from my worldly dealings. Rubbing my shoulder blade. Wisdom at an older age. Shown grace, I gotta show my grace. They let the goats talk most and host all the events. Celebrity idols mislead the entire audience. The sheepskin pen writes in blood that it gets you cleansed. Repentance and faith is all it takes to make amends. With all the power they got, fronted from governments. All of their subtle lies, all the fake compliments. I'm refusing all of their bribes, every dime of their advance. They want us to be quiet, but they'll never, ever, ever silence the lambs. Never silence the lambs. Never silence the lambs. Never silence the lambs. You can't silence these lambs. Every morning we dance to the shepherd's voice and whole hands. Singing praise to the great I am, great I am, great I am. Praise to the great I am. Singing praise to the great I am. Yeah, singing praise. Praise to the great I am. If we don't cry out, the rocks gonna cry out. Some of the Pharisees from the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples for shouting out these messianic praises. Yahusha replied, I tell you, if these people keep silent, the stones will cry out. Mm -hmm. All right, man, we got uh, more words for the wise. From more words from the wise. Let's go ahead and check it out. Then Yahusha spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees have seated themselves in Moses' chair of authority as teachers of the law. So practice and observe everything they say to you, but do not do as they do. For they preach things, but do not practice them. The scribes and the Pharisees tie up heavy loads that are hard to bear and place them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not lift a finger to make them lighter. They do all their deeds to be seen by men, for they make their cycloteries wide to make them more conspicuous and make their tassels long 
They love the place of distinction and honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues. Those on the platform near the scrolls of the law facing the congregation and to be greeted with respect in the marketplace and public farms and to have people call them rabbi. Do not be called rabbi, teacher, for one is your teacher and you are all equally brothers. Do not call anyone on earth who guides you spiritually your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. Do not let yourselves be called leaders or teachers, for one is your leader, your teacher, and that is the Christ. But the greatest among you will be your servant. Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be raised to honor. That. I like that. It definitely scriptures people need to need to tap into right here. I ain't talking about Christians. I'm talking about our people, our Israel. All right. All right, man. We got Sabbath morning. Let's go ahead and check it out. Low. Yeah. Waking up in the zone, feeling calm, avoiding my fall, feeling strong, kneeling before the throne, quoting Psalms. First it's Thanksgiving, and then it's petitions to the true and living. Yeah, you know what I'm on. This preparation is gonna save me from the storm. I'm enduring to the end, acknowledging we not alone. The Father got two separate plans for his own and for those who don't belong to him. I be hoping these songs be in the long term. Love in its purest form, I be trying to put them on to them. The blessed and highly favored is gonna survive the matrix. Why the fake charter spaceships to exotic places? The real witness, he gonna stand on business. Embody Messiah's characteristics, why this world diminish? No love for truth in they hearts, yo, this world is finished. Gotta take a to the heart and all the holy tenets. Praying without ceasing, traveling the farthest regions. A thousand reasons to be devout in every season. I know we his who drink beer and read Ephesians. Who don't live with their kids, they baby mom look Middle Eastern. He thinks she biblical. Deep down, she miserable. She found out laying down was more spiritual than physical. And by her own admission, she misrepresenting the Pentateuch. Natural, actual facts don't mix well with chemicals. Explain it to these fast food workers. I need some minerals. Funny, they can't. Nah, he's going crazy. Oh, the blessed and highly favored is going to survive the matrix. While the fake charter spaceships to exotic places. The real witness, he going to stand on business. Embody Messiah's characteristics while this world diminish. No love for truth in their hearts, yo, this world is finished. Gotta take a to the heart and all the holy tenets. Praying without ceasing, traveling the farthest regions. A thousand reasons to be devout in every season. I know we his who drink beer and read Ephesians. Who don't live with their kids, they baby mom look Middle Eastern. He thinks she biblical. Deep down, she miserable. She found out laying down was more spiritual than physical. And by her own admission, she misrepresenting the Pentateuch. Natural, actual facts don't mix well with chemicals. Explain it to these fast food workers, I need some minerals. Funny, they can't bend the rules. Thought they working for criminals, it's crazy. Uh. Gotta reconsider the food that we feed our babies. Gates trying to block the sun, the FDA is moving. Shady. The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning If they don't repent, they'll be grave sites by Sabbath morning The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning If they don't repent, they'll be grave sites by Sabbath morning The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning If they don't repent, they'll be grave sites by Sabbath morning The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning If they don't repent, they'll be grave sites by Sabbath morning Better thank the Father if he woke you up and gave you truth Follow his kingdom, red letters to show you how to move. Yes, bless and protect their life, but it's not always smooth. That 12 inch sound beautiful when that needle finally find that groove. They be saying people like me be always waiting for a savior to come and save them. I disagree, cause that implies that I take no responsibility. It also implies that you surmise, but you don't read. Really see the Great Commission, it's a faith decision. Post flood, y'all made the earth a great lake deficient. 
me and my brothers and my sisters preaching you some scripture. I give it, long as they fall in line with the spirit. I'm with it, it's work being done, lives being changed, people being healed. Like the Messiah had to explain to John why he was in jail. Don't be offended if Abba don't move the way you want him to. His sovereignty create anomalies, and it's wonderful. Life might start life and then disturb you while you're comfortable. You might be on and get thrown off for like a month or two. What's the use of having faith if you would know it all? Like he told Joe, where was y'all when I hung the stars? You act like you so involved with the protocol. Heard the Messiah broke Sabbath and then you wrote them off. If you think blessed people on Sabbath ain't holy, read Isaiah 58, 13 and do it slowly. The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning if they don't. Nah, he going crazy, bro. To show you how to move, yes, bless and protect it, life, but it's not always smooth. That 12 inch sound beautiful when that needle finally find that groove. They be saying, People like me be always waiting for a savior to come and save them. I disagree because that implies that I take no responsibility. It also implies that you surmise, but you don't really see the great commission. It's a faith decision. Post flood, y'all made the earth the great lake deficient. Me and my brothers and my sisters preaching, using scripture. I give it, long as they fall in line with the spirit. I'm with it, it's work being done, lives being changed, people being healed. Like the Messiah had to explain to John why he was in jail. Don't be offended if Abba don't move the way you want him to. His sovereignty create anomalies, and it's wonderful. Life might start life and then disturb you while you're comfortable. You might be on and get thrown off for like a month or two. What's the use of having faith if you would know it all? Like he told Joe, where was y'all when I hung the stars? You act like you so involved with the protocol. Heard the Messiah broke Sabbath and then you wrote him off. If you think blessed people on Sabbath ain't holy, read Isaiah 58, 13 and do it slowly. The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning. If they don't repent, they'll be grave sites by Sabbath morning. The rich built in bunkers to dodge the prophets warning. If they don't repent, they'll be grave sites by Sabbath morning. y'all think about this album man i think this is the last track this is a great project i can't it ain't i can't say enough about it you know what i'm saying it's definitely it has a uh deep uh it has a deep undertone of making sure that we're doing everything the proper way uh, the things that he's that he was speaking about, like silence in the land, we can't stay silent. You know what I'm saying? We can't. If we stay silent, how 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 will everything continue? How will he get his praise? You feel me? Like how will he how will he get the glory in us being silent? Right? Script. Uh, the other songs where he's talking about, you know, um, the the temples now becoming a place for the a den of thieves when it's supposed to be a place uh, of prayer right talking about um you know he he had a couple uh verses from the scriptures in there tied in perfectly with the the next songs uh coming in to the to the track i like this album man this is a really good album and it's definitely gonna fall back a lot of people some people might not like the album because how how calm it is but it kind of gives me like one of those go back and listen to it like you know what i mean if you didn't like it first listen go back and listen to it and just listen to what he's saying and tap in to some of the some of the verses because he's speaking a, a lot of heavy stuff but he also got a lot of good and slick lines up in there um you know what i'm saying that you if you if you can, if you if you peep them, you know what I'm saying is is definitely um definitely some fire material. But yeah, 
if y'all heard anything from the album that y'all that y'all was tapped into you know what i'm saying y'all let me know up in the comments whatever uh lines that i may have missed also you know what i'm saying make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel um let me know what your favorite song off the album was i mean i like the silence of the lamb track but i think it was the i think it was the last track um i think it was the last track that we did um that i think was probably my favorite one um but yeah y'all let me know which your favorite one was off the album i could wait to react to this album because like i said i've been waiting on some ishan so yeah all right, man. Y'all have a blessed night, man. I'll see y'all. Um, shalom.